Good morning, everybody. Good morning for day three. Good morning, you guys, Susan and Kenneth. And good morning, everybody. How's it going? Good. Everybody good today? Yes. Um, first, I want to say that when I went home last night, I was just about as happy as a human being as I could possibly be. More than that, I was happy to see what just happened yesterday. I don't know if you, I mean, you obviously realized because you did it yourselves, and uh, we did it together. And the transformation that I saw yesterday from day one was just mind-blowing, phenomenal. Uh, I especially went home last night, I mean, went, not home, because I don't live in Seattle, but <laughs> to, my, to my home, which is my hotel room. And I took a look at the photos you submitted for the, for the first day. And then I saw the photos you guys took yesterday. And granted, those photos that you submitted were photos that you needed help with. Still, you still took them at a job. And now the photos that you took yesterday, it's leaps and bounds. And I just feel like we're starting to believe that it's really not about talent. <laughs> Somebody put on Twitter today, Roberto, I'm so happy to see how untalented you are. <laughs> I was <just> like, awesome. <laughs> I love that. That was a, it's an honor. Because now people realize when they're sitting at home, when they give up and they say, I'm not talented, I might, just, might as well just give up now. Like, I'm, I'm not as talented as this photographer or that photographer, so why don't I just give up now? Now you know that that's really not true. In 48 hours, or really only 12 hours of instruction, I feel like we have taken miles of knowledge of photography. I don't think from, from today on, you could not possibly see your environment the same way. No way. And from now on, when you take a photo and you know you could do it better, you will not give up. You will continue to push. Which brings me to uh, one thing that I wanted to, to discuss today. today at the, uh, near the, uh, at some point, like actually, we're going to be going through the training process of how to best train your brain on how to learn something and actually keep it in your head. Okay? We're not just going to talk about how to do random things. We're going to do it in a very strategic way. So when you finish that little practice session we're going to do, you're going to go, and it will be very difficult for you to forget it. It would actually be difficult. You will have to try to forget it. <laughs> and you will not be able to, <laughs> okay? There are certain parts, there are certain ways to hit the brain that if you hit them all in the same way, if you hit all the right chords, your brain just goes to long-term memory, okay? And we're gonna go through that. Another thing we wanna go through is, we're gonna be working on, do, we're gonna be doing some practice sessions today, later on, and we do have models, but we're also gonna do practice sessions without models. We're just gonna be using some bananas and stuff. Okay, we're gonna use in some fruits. So everybody out there who says, I live in Kentucky, I don't have models, or not Kentucky, there's nothing wrong with Kentucky, by the way. Um, I live in the middle of nowhere, I don't have any people around me, no problem, we'll take care of you too, <laughs> right? Um, let me go over something really cool. I wanna go back, uh, today we're gonna be talking about the execution. We, we spoke about locations first, and we broke them all down. Right? We talked about posing yesterday, and we broke that down. And um, right now I'm going to start asking you what we talked about so to, to recall it, right? That's the whole memory thing we're going to do. And then today, we're going to use those two things we talked about, and we're going to put them in the framework of execution. If you do not know how to execute everything you know, you're going to have a hard time putting it all together. This is like the glue of all the stuff we talked about, okay? Without the glue, this could disappear. So it's very important that we glue it all now and it's like seen cement, okay? Let me show you once again the, um, let me show you once again what we did. Let me see, let's go here, let's go here. Let's go to student reviews. Let's go here. Do we, see, do we see the perspective? <laughs> now granted, these are photos that you submitted that you needed help with, right? But there's still photos that we took, or that you guys took at a job. I don't think you could even possibly take this kind of stuff at a job, even if you tried. Now, 
You know what I mean? Because when you see that super bright red, green, and blue, you're going to be like, oh, heck no. We're going somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot happening here that I think now everybody in the audience and everybody watching online can definitely break it down, decipher, just be able to totally say, this is what's wrong with it, right? And by you doing that, it's the first step for your improvement. If you don't even know what's wrong, that's why this download for Creative Life is great, because you can, I'm drilling people on how to be able to be your own like, uh, detectives of your own photographs, because you need to know what's going on, right? Yesterday, we did something where we tried to take a photo where it looks very photojournalistic. But we tried to kind of post the photojournalistic, and then it wasn't working. So what did we do? We had the bright move. We created movement into the photo, right? And that made that movement happen, and that brought the photojournalistic aspect. Remember we were taking all of that? Let's take a look at uh, Let's take a look at the, at the lighting now and the background. What do you guys see? What do you see? Juliana, what do you see now? If, if you were well. looking at this photo with all the knowledge you learned in Creative Life now, what would be what you would say to someone? Backgrounds, there's a lot of different patterns going on. The color is similar, but one is a way it's more bright than the other. Where is the gift of the location here? The gift? Yeah, it's hard to tell, right? Yeah. Because there's like 700,000 gifts in this location. Right. Right? It right. Are they, are they the brightest? Definitely, they're very bright. Right, they're very bright, and yeah. the background is very bright, and it's competing with them. Yeah. If you were to open up this photo in Photoshop, and you were to blur it with Gaussian blur, you would, not have, you would have a hard time deciding what's Which important one? part of this photo. It would almost be like everything's important or everything is not important. It's one of the two. Do you see the arms and stuff? You see the arms just hanging down and everything right. now? Right. What else do you see, Pepe? Just go, go, what else do you see in this photograph that's not working for it? Uh, the, just the eyes, just the whole look straight to the camera kind of thing is no, like, I don't see no feeling there. And uh, just the way they're, they're standing, very you know, slouched. Uh, mm -hmm. The young lady is um, kind of. She's slouched, slouched and to the side? Yeah. Best of all, yeah. is this, is, is, the, is the photo, Finessed. Is it finessed? No. It's, it's not. It's put together, but it's, it's not finessed into a nice little package, right? Remember we talked about the whole language deal? This is like just words. We need to convert them into like a poem, right? The, the photo needs to sing to you. It needs to say, it needs to have poetry in it, right? Um, How about this, guys? Give it a shot, Mallory, give it a shot. Um, you know a lot more now. Yeah, the invisible plane, definitely. Good, invisible plane. Yeah. We have 21 little items we call the lucky sevens, right? Mm -hmm. That's what people in the internet have been calling them. <laughs> in the internet. <laughs> like, uh, anyway. Um, what do you see now? Um, she's slouched. Her neck is gone. <laughs> um, they are the brightest. They're the biggest. They are in focus. So those three things are good. Let me make a very strong point real quick. I've only been a photographer for about seven, six years, seven years, something like that. Not even that much. 